Okay, welcome back. I'm Jadi, and we are solving hack the box, capture the flag competitions questions, especially on the cryptography and reverse engineering. We solved two from the crypto, and now let's solve two from the uh, reverse engineering. I've chose the passphrase and authenticator. Let's start with the passphrase. On reverse engineering questions, most of the time you have one executable and you need to kind of bypass its logic to get the flag. First, we always just run the program to see what it does. It says, halt. You do not look familiar. The whole uh team is that the aliens attacked us we are trying to defend ourselves tell me the secret passphrase password intruder alert okay it was not password you do not like familiar give me the passphrase admin doesn't work it would take lots and lots of time if, if i just want to guess them but we have other things in our arsenal. The first thing most of the people will use during reverse engineering attacks is strings command. You will say strings, what was it, passphrase. And it will show you the human readable strings inside the binary. You will go through them. I can do strings, pipe it to the less. So I will see everything. It says... Nothing special here. Halt, you do not look like familiar. Tell me the passphrase. Intruder alert. Sorry for suspecting you. Please. What? Ah, oh, wait. Please transfer this important message to the chief. CHTB, some string. We don't have this string. To find this out, you can do different things. One thing which I most of the time do is going through. I use the R2. This is called Radar2. It's a very nice program for reverse engineering, free software, and very, very capable. You will see at the moment. Dash D tells it that you want to debug. A will tell it to analyze. W tells it I may want to write something in it. You will open the passphrase. It's analyzing. If you say go with AFL, it lists all the functions. See what functions it has. It has put character, put string, str length, set buffer, printf, home user desktop, ca solve password. This is the program name. F get s, str compare, sleep, so it can write slowly. These are the functions this program is using. Easily you can see where each one is used. Sleep is used here so it writes one by one slips a little bit you give it something and it will run strcmp on it if i give it a password it will most probably check the strcmp with it so we can do something very easy and we don't even need the uh, r2 still r2 is very nice if you learn how to use it how to debug everything that's awesome but at the moment I won't start using it. You have two great commands, S trace and L trace. S trace, that's why I have a separated Linux. As I told you, first it's a hot single, so it can be dirty. It can be full of viruses. Whenever someone tells you hot singles, click here and run me, you have to run it with your hot singles machine. Anyway. S trace traces system calls and signals. Normally on my Linux, I don't have S trace and L trace. So this shows you the system calls the program is running. L trace will show you library call tracer, which libraries are being called. I want to check if strcmp is called and how. So easily, I can go with L trace, passphrase, and check the program here. See, it's calling some libraries. It's calling you sleep. 
and then calling put character this character again waits for you sleep then strlen of tell me the secret passphrase it checks this then puts some character here most probably it's just having this in the memory these are the calls it's doing most probably it has this somewhere in the memory it checks its length if it's not done it does the put character the next one then waits this milliseconds or microseconds or whatever then then again checks this checks this up to here then it slips for one second and f get its reads one character i will give it the for example password then what happens let's scroll up it's changing the terminal color somewhere so because he this wants to type this in red sorry i'm on a virtual machine and my computer is slow so each time i just keep pressing one key it kept press forever back down 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 see what happened here oh we have the answer don't panic when you see lots of output just read them slowly we were here i get it, i gave it the why this is reversed oh what i'm doing okay I gave it the password. Then what it did? It called strlen password, check the length for some reason. Then strcmp was called with this input and checked if this equals password. So this should be our answer. As easy as that. As you can see, we are not doing anything magical, anything alien. We are just knowing our tools and using them for our advantage so this should be the answer let's try it again now i will run just the without the l trace it says hold you do not look like familiar tell me the secret passphrase this is your secret passphrase sorry for suspecting you please transfer this important message to the chief and what is the important message? It's this, CHTB, and we have our next flag. A reminder, these are the easy ones. It gets harder and harder and harder and harder. So, I, this is a normal, I can solve the intermediate ones, but for example, hard ones, it's very difficult for me. But this is an opportunity to learn. I just want to show you how easy it is to start and learn and learn and learn. Anyway, and this is for hack the box hack the box is famous 4700 something teams were competing here and we became 13 sorry 30 but but the good point is you can see that you were also able to solve some of these or if you were not now you are able you know s trace you know l trace you know r2 you know the basics of programming for cryptographic questions and this kind of stuff but let's go to uh, one which is a little bit more difficult still on a easy scale be with me i'm jody i will be glad if you subscribe and watch videos or tell friends